whatever. Hold on one second. Okay. Go, right. go for it. Good evening and welcome to the Monday, May 22nd meeting of the Green Bay Plan Commission. We'll start with a roll call. Chair Lisa Hansen, present. Vice Chair Jacob Miller, present. Alder Jim Hutchinson, present. Commissioner Sidney Bremer, present. Commissioner Darius Daniels, present. Commissioner Ken Ravinsky, present. And Commissioner Michael Paradic, present. Moving on to the approval of the agenda. Approval of the agenda for the May 22nd, 2023 meeting of the Green Bay Plan Commission. So moved. Second. A motion by Commissioner Ravinsky, a second by Commissioner Paradic. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Moving on to the approval of the minutes. Approval of the minutes from the May 8th, 2023 meeting of the Green Bay Plan Commission. Move approval. Second. Motion by Commissioner Bremer, second by Commissioner Daniels. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, and then moving on to regular business. Well, I just interject sure. Quick. So you see a new face at the table today. It's Megan Hine. Mm -hmm. She and uh, not old face. For her face, <laughs> oh, Jessica. Oh, oh, oh. Um, uh, Megan is going to dig out of that. Right, I know. Oh. I'll get that later. <laughs> <laughs> so Megan is um, relatively new, a couple weeks, weeks. Um, to the department, and she's going to be taking over a lot of Jess's former duties. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be seeing much more of her. Welcome. Welcome. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're fine. All right. So moving on to regular business, we are starting with a public hearing. And this public hearing has been properly posted and public notification has been published in the press times. The plan commission is interested in hearing public comments on the subject agenda items. We invite your comments and ask that after your name has been called, you state your address, whether you represent a group or association whether you favor, oppose, or only providing information in this matter, and your comments or concerns. We also ask that you confine your testimony to facts related to the proposal at hand and avoid repetitive testimony. City staff will provide a presentation during the public hearing and questions raised by the public may be asked, but they will not be answered by staff until the upcoming actionable item. You must be recognized by the plan commission in order to speak and please address your comments to the chair. Comments will be limited to three minutes. We will now open the public hearing on item number one, public hearing on a request for a conditional use permit for a covered porch exceeding the front yard setback in a low density residential district at 1500 Greenian Street, submitted by Rafael Santos, property owner. Yes, thank you. Um, so this request is to place a covered front porch um, it does extend into the front yard setback, and that is the reason for the conditional use permit. Um, the, it would only extend a foot and a half um, into that front yard setback. The house is currently at 29 feet. Um, the lot averaging in that street is uh, 25 and a half feet. So that would put the, um, Front porch into that one and a half feet over. Um, the property itself is single family residential. Um, around it is generally single family as well with some two family close by, um, actually right next to it. The So this is the property here on the screen. And then it's bordered to the south by the village of Alloway. And then it does have a um, actually, I think it's like two, yeah, these are two unit um, structures here, and then I think there's a two unit across the street, but otherwise it's generally um, single family residential. The future land use is residential. The um, zoning is low density residential as well. And here is a picture an old picture of what the home looks like from Google Street View. And then um, the applicant is doing a lot of work to the property, um, which included removing that <coughs> garage. And then he's doing some, an addition to the back. And then the garage would go in the rear. But what we're looking at is the front porch 
so you can kind of get uh, a sense of what's happening there. And then here's kind of a looking towards the river, looking east. Um, you can kind of see the, um, the different setbacks of the homes. And then uh, in this picture here on the right, again, you can kind of see what the um, setbacks are nearby. This shows where the, you know, the covered porch would go. Um, this is showing a 25 foot setback, but when it was measured, it, that's not actually accurate. Um, it would be the 20, 24 feet is where it would be at instead. And just some <coughs> um, drawings. And then here is a rendering of what it looks like currently and what it would look like with that front porch. Oops. And then another view um, looking east. That's all I want. All right, now with the public hearing, we're looking to hear from parties uh, that are wishing to speak. Is there anyone wishing to speak? Is there anyone wishing to speak? Is there anyone wishing to speak? Let the record reflect that no one came forward and this public hearing is now closed. Moving on to the corresponding actionable item. Item number two, consideration with possible action on a request for conditional use permit for a covered porch exceeding the front yard setback in a low density residential district at 1500 Grinion Street, submitted by Rafael Santos, property owner. Thank you. Um, so staff believes that the extension of the covered front porch extending one and a half feet into the front yard setback is acceptable and meets the standards for CUP approval. Um, we do have two conditions to place on it, which is approval of a site plan and then compliance with all other municipal code recommendation or municipal code requirements. Okay. Any discussion or questions for staff? Um, I'll share with a question. So in the report, let's see, that'd be the second paragraph of the report. So we're citing that the setback is approved with conditional permit found section that 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 whatever. So basically we're saying this needs to to come through for a conditional use permit, but I'm having a hard time understanding why. And it seems like a pretty open and shut. And I know we don't see these often, <coughs> it's but maybe something to consider if we could find a way to just get it in the site plan review versus making people come through the meeting process. Unless there's a real reason that we're not considering. Well, I can tell you the history of why this is, there's a couple weird conditional use permits that you see, the like heights of garage and size of old buildings and locations for front porches. Uh, primarily, I think that was switched with me when it was switched over while they made it into CUPs. Um, because the proving of a hardship was incredibly difficult. Um, sure. and so you couldn't get it. But the CUP allowed for neighbors to be notified and be able to give some input. And I believe that's why they become CUPs. If we said that it's at 25 now. We set it at 24. Again, somebody somebody, somebody at 23. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that I think that is the purpose. Sure. I'm just wondering, like through a variance or something, maybe it would be more appropriate. <coughs> like I said, we don't see a ton of these. First one I can remember a long time. So maybe it isn't that common. It's it's not super common. Yeah. I don't think I've seen a front porch before. I think that's about five years ago. Uh, my curling is done. I move approval. <laughs> I second. Second. Motion by Vice Chair Miller, <laughs> second by Commissioner Bremer. Any further discussion? All right, then now we'll go ahead with a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And then when's the next city council? June. 
control, I believe. Okay. Oh, okay. the toughest question. I know, right? No, June twelfth is our next meeting. I was gonna oh. say. I think I have so it would have been June second. Yeah. June okay. June. okay. <laughs> All right. I knew it was June. It just wasn't going to be. All right. So June second, that will move forward to city council. No, it can't be. I'll no. June sixth. Oh yeah, June sixth. My birthday's the seventh, which Mine is a Wednesday. Is too. Yay! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so the sixth is the one. All right, June sixth. <laughs> I was going to ask. I, I realized that the meeting was recorded. I was going to ask what year, but then I'm like, oh, let's just post that on the program <laughs> chat after. Yeah. So. All right, then moving on to <laughs> item number three, which is a public hearing. And again, this public hearing has been properly posted and public notification has been published in the press times. And we're looking to hear uh, public comments on the subject agenda items. We just ask that you state your name, address, whether you represent a group or association, and whether you favor or oppose or providing information only. Now we will open the public hearing on item number three, public hearing <coughs> on the request to amend the city's comprehensive plan for the property located at 2132 Deckner Avenue from a split of low density residential and other semi-public or semi-public <laughs> to other semi-public or semi-public submitted by Green Bay Area Public Schools on behalf of Atonement Lutheran Church <coughs> as an owner. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, it'd be a good slide up to the quick on it. Okay. So um, this is on the east side of the city. Uh, Deckner and Dan's are the two major intersections there. Um, and it is a, basically around Preble High School, that area. So you can see uh, the subject property is outlined in red and that is Atonement Lutheran Church. Um, directly to the south is the playing field um, and track for Preble High School. To the east is Preble High School itself. To the north is office, uh, I believe, Medical office. I think that's the uh, yes. um, it's blood center. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's across, the blood center is across the street. Yes. Right across across the street. Yep. That is to, the medical office. To the north. And then to the west are multifamily homes. Um, if you zoom up to the next one. Well, I guess, and you can see it on here as well. What you see in the hashed out purple is the subject property area. Um, so the future land use is really kind of uh, messy here. Where Lutheran or Atonement Lutheran is is uh, public, semi-public. Um, the southern half, where the parking lot is, is designated for residential use, and then to the south is uh, a park, which is their playing fields, and to the east is the school, which is the other public or semi-public. Um, the next one. Zoning is a little bit different. The church is zoned R3, uh, very density residential. And then the school and the grounds uh, are uh, public institution zoning. All right, here's sort of a picture. So you can kind of see the interplay between the church and the school is mm -hmm. primarily their parking lot. Um, and if you look in that square, it is relatively accurate. The school has actually already started developing for a long time onto the church's property. But basically right now a walkway. And when you look at the um, sort of the shots, these are just Google shots, but um, that event, I believe, was a school event <coughs> where the tents were over there. So they've been kind of had this relationship with atonement where they've been kind of using that green space uh, south of the parking lot. Um, <coughs> play for the next one. The school district, as part of their uh, remodeling of a lot of schools, are upgrading their entire um, sports complex. So they're uh, they're adding a, a bunch of different things in there. Um, and if you see the circled area up at the top, with the reconfiguration, there is no room for the triple jump and long jump any longer on the Preble site. Preble is a really tight urban school, and there's really no place for them to expand to be competitive <coughs> athletically. They needed to upgrade their facilities. So they talked with Atonement. Atonement said, sure, we'll sell you the property. Uh, the problem is the comp plan recommends different things, um, which is what the site was for, and the zoning is different. So to be able to combine the lots, the zoning has to be the same. To get the zoning the same, the comp plan has to change. 
Um, so there are 10 criteria in the code that you uh, look at when you're looking at comp plan changes. I won't go over them all, uh, but staff feels that this request would meet all of those 10 uh, standards. Um, and the, the area itself is just under 10,000 square feet. Um, does not make atonement non-conforming whatsoever. Um, you still have plenty of setback and um, their land use designation in the comp plan is not changing from residential. Um, it may come back in the future, but at this point, if they don't need the parking, they may want to rezone it to residential. So uh, kind of leaving it as is right now. Um, and sort of the history with that is churches, um, schools used to always be in the residential districts before we had a, a public district. Um, so you'll see these all <coughs> We know you've seen them come through periodically as cleanups. So um, uh, the comprehensive plan uh, public participation was followed. We notified Alder Stevens, Old Preble, uh, Neighborhood Association, and all the neighbors within a little over 200 feet. Um, we, had, we received one question of what was going there, and uh, that's a recommendation. Okay, great, and <laughs> that's public hearing. Yep, so with this public hearing, uh, I'd like to hear from anyone who wish to speak. Is there anyone wishing to speak? Is there anyone wishing to speak? Is there anyone wishing to speak? Let the record reflect that no one came forward and this public hearing is now closed. Moving on to the corresponding actual item. Item number four, consideration with possible action on a request to amend the city's comprehensive plan for the property located at 2132 Defner Avenue from a split of low density residential and other semi-public or semi-public to other semi-public or semi-public submitted by Green Bay Area Public Schools on behalf of Atonement Lutheran Church property owner. Thank you. And I, thank you, I'm sure I won't add anything else except um, that, yeah, this will allow that expansion um, and the zoning is the next item, last item on the agenda. Um, staff is recommending approval of a request to amend the comp plan from the split of low density residential and public semi public to public semi public. Thank you very much. Any questions for staff or further discussion? Motion to approve. Second. And motion by Commissioner Provinsky, second by Commissioner Pratt. Any further discussion? All right, go ahead with the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, and then that will move forward then to City Council for June 6th. Uh, moving on to item number five, which is a public hearing. And this public hearing has been properly posted and public notification has been published in the press times. The plan commission is interested in hearing public comments on the subject agenda items. We invite your comments and concerns and ask that after your name has been called, you state your address, whether you represent a group or association, and whether you favor, oppose, or only providing information in this matter. Um, we will now open the public hearing on item number five. Public hearing on the request to rezone part of the property located at 2132 Defner Avenue from varied density residential to public institutional submitted by Green Bay Area Public Schools on behalf of Atonement Lutheran Church property owner. Thank you, Chairman. This is very similar to the last mm -hmm. item. It's the same area. Um, the only real difference is, um, is your criteria that you follow. Um, so again, the inconsistencies in the zoning um, does not allow the uh, detachment and attachment to the next property. Um, yep, all the same items. Okay. We notified the neighbors of the Twitter feed, the neighborhood association, and the alder, and had them on one okay. inquiry. Thank you very much. So now we're looking to hear uh, from anyone who's wishing to speak on this item. Is there anyone wishing to speak? Is there anyone wishing to speak? Is there anyone wishing to speak? Let the record reflect that no one came forward and this public hearing is now closed. Moving on to the corresponding actionable item, item number six, consideration with possible action on a request to rezone part of the property located at 2132 Deckner Avenue 
from varied density residential to public institutional submitted by Green Bay Area Public Schools on behalf of the Tolman Lutheran Church property owner. Staff is recommending approval as requested. Um, and they will go through council at the same time. So we'll hold the zoning one council meeting so the comp plan and council go at the same time. Comp plan will be approved first. So, okay. we'll it so this mm -hmm. won't show up on June 6th? It'll show up on June 6th, but then it'll skip one. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Any uh, questions for staff or further discussion? Even benefits outdoor recreation? I say let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Second. Oh, All right, I have a motion by Commissioner Rimmer, <laughs> second by Commissioner Ravinsky. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll go ahead with the voice vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Moving on to informational director's report. Director is not see here. a director. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm trying report. to think of what you had on the last agenda. It's the short term rental, they waived the second reading that was approved. Um, what did we have on the last agenda? There was a building height that was also approved. Mm -hmm. Zoning code stuff, or is this an old? Failing nope. building risk assessment. That's it. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, Neil will give you a good report the next, next time. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> All right. And the, de the date of that next meeting is June 12, 2023. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion by Commissioner Craddock, second by Vice Chair Miller. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Good night, guys. Good night. We got the draft in oh, yeah. You're building your hotel rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, something <laughs> 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 right? Yeah. Is it recording off?